Hi everyone, we've got uh, Muchidisi here from the SRC and she's just going to tell us a little, about, a little bit about the situation on campus at the moment. Okay, good morning. I am Muchidisi Vasaho, I'm part of the SRC of the UFS at the Bloemfontein campus. Um, currently the situation is still very uncertain on the side of the SRC. Um, because we're not sure how many students still need devices. We're not sure how many students are not in areas that have good connectivity and all of that. We are aware of all the struggles, like I've said, which is people who need devices um, to be able to do the actual work. People who are able to connect or who are in areas of poor connectivity people who live in remote areas which may not have strong electricity um, or good basic services all of the time throughout the year. And recently, after this week where we started um, online learning, it's people knowing how to use the online learning um, and how that is working. So those are the main concerns. And then the other concern that is there is also that there are students who stayed in town prior to lockdown um, beginning. So when the lockdown had started, they did not go home and do not necessarily have some food and that sort of thing. So, yeah. All right. And do you have many students contacting you at the moment with, with these issues? Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of students. And normally it's the people who are close to you who contact you. So the other concern is in the students who do not have your phone number or aren't as connected as the students who are able to call you um, and what they're going through, yes. All right. And then just as SRC and from the university management side, um, what is happening at the moment? How are you working to resolve these, um, these issues together? Okay, we're having meetings. <laughs> a lot of times different SOCs have meetings with the different departments that are connected that are connected to them all the time. The SRC is also always um, talking in terms of this is the complaint that I got from students. What do you think we should do? What can we do about this? How are we resolving it? I think that's why we know um, that there are students who still don't have food, who need help in terms of food. That's how we know that they're... We also talk about a wide, a wide array, array of things from like students who, um, quad students, quads is the Center for Universal Access and Disability. Um, and those are students um, who are differently able, or students with disabilities as well, um, what struggles they are going through, international students. In terms of them, them is a bigger problem because not only are they not um, able some are not able to access online learning, but some also live in remote areas. And if ever there are devices and data deals to be rolled out to them, it would be a bit more difficult because they're outside of the border. And then beyond that, with like um, regulations being phased in or phased out, they then have to look at struggles like visas and the borders not reopening and Mm. Yeah. Sure, sure. And being far from the families and all of that. Eh? Yeah. yeah. Um, so then um, I hear so many um, things that you're mentioning. The one is um, obviously that people do not know how to use the online platforms, that they don't have devices, people are struggling with data, there's issues of food, um, international students like you just mentioned. Um, what do you think, what role can a church community play um, during this time on campus? I don't know if this is cliche, but this is the main thing that God asks us to do as Christians, is to pray. So I think if the church could constantly keep um, the university management, student leaders, and students in their prayers, as well as the whole country um, in their prayers, that would be amazing. And then um, if there are any um, like charities or food drives that the church does and is able to maybe have collection for food packages for some of the students who are still in town who aren't able to have any access to food packages. That would be amazing. Um, if there's anything else, maybe I can get the email for the church 
and um, I will discuss with the council and definitely send anything else. At, you know. Awesome, that's so cool. So you're mentioning two things that we should pray. I don't think that's a cliche. Yes. I think that's so important in this time eh? because yeah. we are all so, so helpless. And then um, the other one is that you say there's practical things, like especially with food um, that the church yeah. can do. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Shadisa, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. We are definitely keeping you in our prayers and in our thoughts. Um, good luck to the whole SRC and to the university management. Um, we know it's a tough time for you as well. Uh, so, so good luck. We are praying for you. Thank you.